the Scarlet Letter Talk Show. Today we will be interviewing the cast from the Scarlet Letter book. First up, we have Esther. Well, glad to be here. Nice to meet you. Glad to meet you, Austin. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Man, this dude is so good. Yeah, you know he'll live out here. So, Hester, what was your initial reaction when you found out that you had to go on the scaffold in front of the whole town to receive your punishment? Well, I was pretty humiliated, being that everyone was so mean and harsh to me, you know, it really hurt me. Indeed. So, um, Hester, what does this letter A on your chest stand for right here? It stands for adultery, which is a sin that I committed. It is something that I have to live for, you know, for the rest of my life. I got you. So, um, how did you react when the government told you that you could not keep your baby? It was a hard process and took a lot of convincing, but I talked them into it because she is my everything. That's why I named her Pearl. I got you. So, um, how will you use this experience to help others? I've learned to straighten up my act, be an honorable woman, and respect others. I do lots of community service and knit for the people in the community, and I donate some of the money that I get from knitting. I got you. So, um, how did you feel when you saw that Chillingsworth was actually your husband? I was embarrassed. I didn't know what to tell him. I felt really bad for you know committing that sin on him. I got you. So, um, did you ever notice that Chillings, the way that Chillingsworth treated them, so? Yes, and I hated it. I wanted him to stop, but it was too late, and I couldn't do anything about it. So, the day that you and Dimsdale were in the woods, what did you talk about? We talked about running away to another place and not telling anyone where we are. And what came? What made you come back to this? small cottage and live alone after Chillingsworth had died. I had no one left. I wanted to be by myself and I had to, I had no one saying harsh things about me so I could live in peace. I got you. So, uh, all right, so last question for today. How did it feel when you returned back to the, back to the college, cottage and lived alone and you were respected now? It was something I haven't felt in a while, you know? Uh, I began to help younger kids with advice all the time because I could, like, I was really wise. That's it for today. Thank that's you. a wrap. Thank you, Thank you Austin for Miller. Thank you for having me. Let me just click this boy. So the next guest up on our talk show is Pearl, Hester's daughter. So I have a few questions to ask you today. Um, so do you and your mom have a good relationship? Yeah, I mean, we're pretty close. I'm really like our only companion. Uh, I understand. So, what is some names that your mom sometimes calls you? She calls me like Elf or Imp Child. I don't know why. All right. I mean, it's understandable. So, when Mr. Wilson asks who made you, what is your response? I said I was plucked from the rose bush uh, next to the prison. Okay. So... What was your mother's response when you asked her if she had ever met the black man in the woods? Um, she said she did once, and that's a uh, that letter marked their meeting. Hmm. Why? Wow, this is some good cheese. I don't know why you don't like cheese. Uh-huh. So, um, why were you so scared that one time that you saw your mother without the letter A? I was scared because I never seen her like that before. So I don't know what to do. All right. So last question for today. Um, what did you do after you left the cottage and didn't come back? Man, uh, that cheese is spicy. No, it's not. Um, uh, well, I, I basically just got married. Oh, married? And, yeah, I got married. Found me a nice little husband. And then uh, just settled down. It's understandable. Alright, well, nice to have you. Oh, you got some oranges. I didn't, can I have one? Up. Uh, Plucked him right out of my bush. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks for coming today. Now that we're back from our intermission, our next guest on our talk show is Roger Chili. Alright, Roger, nice, nice to have you today. Nice Alright, man. Today I'm going to ask you a few questions. Alright. What made what made you come back in the skies, not as Hester's husband? Well, I wanted to know what my wife was really doing, and I don't think she'd tell me, you know, just coming here, not as this guy. So no, I got you. I didn't right. remember what else. All right, all right. What did you promise Hester you would do if she kept your identity a secret? Uh, I promised to find who she shared her sentiment. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to do. All 
All right, yeah, I, I understand, I understand. All right, what was your disguise whenever you came back? Uh, I came back disguised as a dumb. I want to be important. Well, all right, all right. Felt left out sometimes? Yeah. yeah, all right, all right. Watch TV. Oh, cool, yeah. Who were you assigned to help in the in the community? Uh, I was assigned to help the pastor, uh, Mr. Vinsdale. You heard of him? Yeah, I heard a few times. You know, yeah. All right. When did you know Denzel was the person who sinned with Hester? Um, <coughs> well, we began talking about our guilt and sin, and he just got really upset when we were talking about ourselves to him. He made this maybe the guy that was made. Got suspicious towards the yeah. kept talking. All right, all right. All right. Why did you tor Why did you torture Denzel? Well, um, I tried to get him to admit to his sin, but I thought that was the only way that he'd do it. So that's how. I he would admit that. to it straight up like a real man. No. No. All right. No. Worthless. All right. Why did you feel like you had no reason to live when Dinsdale died? Um, uh, I had no one left to torture, and you know, I just figured my life was pointless at that point. I, mean, I had no point no not point. be able to torture anybody, you know. So I think All that's right. why. I mean, all right, that's about it. All right, Roger. All right, it was nice having you, buddy. Nice Thank you. Thanks for coming. No, no problem. All right, our next and, la and final guest on our talk show is Dimsdale, the pastor. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, How you doing today? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to have you on my show today. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Today I'm gonna ask you a few little questions. All right. Mhm. Mm all right. How did you feel whenever you saw Hester on the scalpel? Uh, I was guilty, and I felt really bad. I'm really odd. Alright. What made you fall fall sick? My guilt of my sin. Uh, yeah. Keeping it a secret, it, it really hurt. Yeah. Honestly. Alright, I'll feel you, I'll feel you. What caused you to admit your sin? <clears throat> Chilling's words kept pounding me with questions and I mean it finally came out of me. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. How did you feel after you admitted to your sin? I mean, I felt relieved and and no longer like sick. I mean, I felt like a better person after you did. Huh? Yeah. All right. All right. I mean, I was ready to leave. All right. Our last question for today: Will you ever tell anyone what was on your chest, if it was the letter A or not? No, no. That is for me to know and uh, others to find out. I got you. Some, something you had to yourself, huh? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. All right. Well, that concludes our talk show today. And it's a stand for? It stands for adultery. was a sin that I committed. Uh, it is something that I have to live with for the rest of my life. It is something that I have to live with for the rest of my life. <laughs> Why do you have that to tell me? We never gonna get this done. <laughs> <laughs>